it didn't take away my fear it gave me courage and so the fear didn't matter anymore because I was in a place where people would understand me and so it didn't matter if I was scared or if, or if they wouldn't if I was scared that they wouldn't like me because no matter what you say you're going to be heard and it's some, it's going to resonate with someone and so it'll just you connect with that person and it just it, it makes bonds that are hard to be broken and if and if you're scared to do that then you need to just take your time and take a deep breath and know that you you'll be heard no matter what you say no matter what you do someone will be there for you and slam poetry when our first slam or bow or whatever um the way the crowd interacted with the poet like after like when they heard a line they'll snap for it and or like if they really like something they'll just scream and cheer for it and then after that i was like that's amazing like they can actually do that during when while people are still saying their poetry and I loved it. Like, I feel like after like a poet says the poetry, that I, the crowd is actually listening to their poetry and understanding what they're saying. And as a performer, I actually like the feedback because then I know that they actually understand what I'm saying instead of me just staying on stage, just saying stuff, but the crowd not actually understanding what the words that are coming out of my mouth. I think people really do listen to slam poetry. Like when you see somebody your age or someone like you can like really relate to doing something that they're passionate about, it's like you have to respect that. And, you ha and it's like it makes you want to listen because it's like it's almost like if you were up there doing that. It's like you really do feel like um, they're, they're a lot like you, you know what I mean? Because it's just it's one person. It's not a big performance. It's like it's something really small and really personal and really intimate. And so it's like if so, it's like if someone told you a secret, it's like you wouldn't just be like, oh, they're telling me a secret. No, it's like they're telling me a secret. So that's how I feel about slam poetry. I realize I, I kind of want to I want to build walls in parks. I know it sounds weird, but I want to put walls in public parks where people can come and kind of put their voice on that wall and paint on that wall legally. <laughs> See, I think that's really important because I think there's a lot of people that have voices that aren't being heard. And I think a voice is a very valuable thing. And I think we all have valuable voices. So that's what I do want to do after high school. But I also want to go to college so I can actually make that happen.